Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install memos on dockage. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So, go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, Let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what will be installed today, Memos. It's an open source, lightweight note-taking service. Easily capture and share your great thoughts. Um, this is what it looks like. And uh, it's privacy first. So, um... The key points are open source, free forever, self-hosting with Docker in just seconds, I will be doing, and then pure text with added markdown support, customize, share your notes effortlessly, and then RESTful API for third-party services. So, that's what we'll be installing today. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to scroll down to how to install uh, memos on dockage right here. And then I'm going to go into Docker Compose. So version 3 of Docker Compose is being used. And then I'm going to set some services. And then the service underneath the service is called Memos. The image is coming off of a Docker Hub because there's no URL before this. So it's default into Docker Hub. And this is the Docker image. It's using the latest tag. Um, so the container name is called Memos. The volume is uh, set to memos data. It's a local volume that's defined down here. And then that's on the host side. And then all the containers var opt memos. You do not change the container side. And then now ports 5230 on the host side, 5230 on the container side. If the host side uh, collides with another port on your host, you can change this to something like 5231 but do not change the right side, which is the container side. So, and now we define the volume. So I'm gonna go up here to copy raw file, and then I'm gonna go over to my dockage and get this installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So. Let's get back to registered programming. So I'm going to start on a dockage. I'm going to go up here to compose. And then I'm going to give it a stack name of memos stack. And then now I'm going to go over to the editor over here. I'm going to paste in what I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. And then yours should look like this. So I'm going to go over here to deploy. And now it's pointed off of the registry getting it extracted and getting it up with Docker Compose underneath. So you can now see that it's uh, w w working down here and it's ready to go. So now I'm gonna start on uh, my, my dockage. I'm gonna go to memo stack. And then, so now you can see your actions up here, edit, restart, update, stop, and then stop and down and then delete. The update updates the current tag like the latest and pulls it down from the registry, gets the local cache updated, and then uh, pushes it back out and deploys it. So um, you can see the containers that are in the stack, and then you can get to the web UI from here. You can also go into the container uh, into Bash. If you get this error, you, you need to switch to SH, and then you'll be able to run a ls command here, and then you see memos. I'm going to go back in the stack. So you can see your console log down here of what happened. This is really handy. Um, so you can see a read-only version of your Docker Compose here. You can also go into edit and you can cha change things over here in the UI and then it'll sync over here and vice versa. Environment variables, networks, internal networks, external networks, and then you can add a URL down here. Um, deploy, save, and then stopping down and then di discard changes you can also add a new container right here to the docker compose over here so you can type it in and then press add container so i'm going to discard my changes so um 
uh, that's a little bit about the contain uh, the stack options for memos. So now I'm gonna start on my dockage. I'm gonna go to the memo stack, and then I'm gonna go to the port down here, 5230. I'm gonna click it, and then you're you're gonna need to create an account. So I'm gonna create an account real quick, and then um, once you do this, you press the sign up. Okay, now we're we're signed in and we're a mod. So um, you can quickly uh, type something in like testing and then save. And then uh, here you go. It keeps a, ca a calendar of when you did the memos. You can search the memos. You can tags. Uh, you can create tags like testing. And then uh, there we go. And then you can tag the memos. So you can go to edit and then you can put a tag on the memos, a hashtag, and then you can save, and then now you can filter by the tags. You can also uh, make it private, a workspace, or public. This is a public memo. Okay, now you can save. You can also put tags in like that, and images, uh, links, um, uh, check boxes, and then a code. Um, you, you can go down here to daily review. And then a resources. And then explore. It's a public memo. You can pin the memos too. So you can go over here and it's pinned now. Um, you can go back to inbox. And then the archived. So if you go here and uh, you want to archive a memo you just archive it and then it's over here again then if you want to unarchive it you just restore you can also delete so um air settings so you can change your account information so you can edit your account here you can put an email address in you can change your password you can see your tokens uh, here um you can go to preferences change the language the theme you can follow the system for a light and dark theme. The default memo visibility. And then you can also put a Telegram user ID in. And then you can create webhooks. You can also go to members and add more members to your memos. Uh, you can say system information like server name, database file size, allow a uh, user sign up, a disable password login, Disable public memos, a display with updated time, the maximum upload size, and megabytes, and then auto backup intervals, and then Telegram bot token, additional styles, like style sheets, and then a scripts, a JavaScript. Um, storage, current uh, object storage of the database, local file system, and then um, you can create you can go to single sign-on, so you can create a single sign-on for GitHub, GitLab, Google, custom, um, OAuth 2. So that's a little bit about memos and what the UI is like. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting memos working on dockage. I went over the Docker Compose, I went over installing it, and I went over the UI. So, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description, so stay tuned for more.